Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about d by length. This is an important parameter that we use in the field of plasma physics and also in the field of accelerator physics while dealing with charged particle beams. So let's start. So what we are going to do here uh, is as follows. We are given a quasi neutral plasma where we assume the electron density, that is the number of particles per meter cube, is approximately equal to the proton, the ion density in the plasma. So that is why we call it a quasi neutral plasma. We are going to introduce a positive charge test charge in the system and we will be looking at the potential because of this test charge in the plasma. So we will be calculating potential as a function of R because of this test charge. So as soon as we introduce a positive test charge in the plasma, it will attract the negative electrons towards it and will repel the ions, the positively charged ion in the plasma. All right. Therefore, rearranging the electronic structure, the structure around it it's itself. So, we will get uh, electron density that is higher near the test charge that we have introduced and the ion density will be lower and slightly away the ion will accumulate and we get a kind of a distribution, roughly kind of a distribution that I have shown in the figure. And with this uh, rearrangement of uh, particles, ions, electrons in the plasma, in the presence of this test charge, we will be calculating the potential because of this test charge, positive test charge as a function of R. And while doing so, we will come across the term the bilength. So before we go ahead, let us look at the notations that we will be using throughout our discussion. So N0 is the number density for electrons and ion far from the test charge Q. Ni is the ion number density surrounding the test charge plus Q. So we are taking considering a situation where there is a equilibrium that we have attained after introduction of this uh, test charge and rearrangement of other charged particles in the plasma. So that is why uh, at equilibrium. And E is the electron number density surrounding the test charge plus Q at equilibrium. Now the number density N E and uh, for electrons that is N E and for ions that is N I will be given by N e is equal to N naught that is the uh, equilibri equilibrium electron and ion density exponential E phi over T. Uh, similarly for ions this number will be given by N naught exponential minus E phi over T. Now, E here is electronic charge, phi is the potential because of the test charge and T is the plasma temperature. So T is not only T, it is basically a product of uh, the Boltzmann's constant that is Kb and the temperature T. So T represents Kbt here. So now the electrostatic, if we try to write the electrostatic potential at this distance R from the test charge that we have introduced, uh, we can use Poisson equation and write it as del square phi is equal to the density that is uh, dens charge density over epsilon naught and charge density is given by difference of the um, electron and proton number into the charge that is E that is Q. Here Q will be 1.6 into 10 raised to 19 divided by epsilon naught. So we have since we have uh, now we have an expression for my potential 
what we will try to do here we will just substitute an e and an i from here all right uh, also note that here we have made one more assumption and that is the temperature of electrons and temperature of ions are equal so that's where we have t here and t here so we substitute this into our uh, expression for potential and this is what we obtain so q and zero and epsilon naught will come out because n zero here and n zero here over and in bracket will be left with these two terms exponential e phi over t and exponential minus e phi over t all right so we have an expression for uh, potential where we have substituted the value of ne and ni so we get this and now we have this assumption that e phi is much much less than that is electrostatic potential energy much is much much less than the plasma temperature so this assumption makes sure that the electrons or ions are not blown away because of coulombic repulsion all right and of course the charge we take here is electronic charge so with these assumptions we have uh, we can substitute these exponential terms in form of their series expansion but please note that we have made this assumption that e phi is much much less than the plasma temperature so we can ignore high order terms in the series expansion for exponential with that uh, we get to del square of phi is equal to q n naught over epsilon 1 plus e phi over t minus 1 plus 1 so this minus so we have no, no bracket here so this minus is will be a plus actually and uh, plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled so we'll get 2 e phi over t so we, what we get here is 2 e square because we have e here and e here that's and there's an e here because q is equal to e we'll get n naught that's already there epsilon naught that, that that comes from here and t that comes from here and of course phi so we have 2 e square m naught so it should be n naught here not m naught over epsilon naught t into phi all right so we have we have the Poisson equation written in this form right now so now we know that uh, potential or if we make this assumption that potential is a function of r only we can write del square as follows 1 over r square del del r r square del phi del r is equal to 2 e and so this is the lhs here this term here and uh, rhs remains the same 2 e square n naught over epsilon naught t into phi all right so also we know in free space my potential is inversely proportional to r so we have a phi inversely proportional to 1 over r now if we take a constant proportionality constant f that also if uh, a function of that's also a function of r we get phi is equal to f of r over r and now we can substitute this phi from here to here all right so when we do that we'll get 1 over r square that's here del del r remains same del r square remains same now we have del del r here of phi so we'll get f of r over r instead of phi all right is equal to 2 e square and not that that remains same over epsilon naught t that 2 remains same 
instead of phi, we'll get f of r over r. That comes from here. All right. Now, if we uh, so we if we solve this, so this derivative will act on f of r. So there will be a product rule. Uh, this will act on f of r, and this will act on one over r. All right. So if we solve this, we'll get something like this. All right. So del square f over del r square is equal to e square and not epsilon not t into f. All right. Now, if we define this whole parameter to e square n not over epsilon not t as one over lambda, so one over lambda square. All right. So one over lambda becomes under root of this term. All right. We can write the whole uh, this equation. So we can write with this definition. We can write the expression for del square f over del s square as follows. Del square f over del s square is equal to f over lambda d square. So if you notice this, so you take a double derivative of x, you are left with f with a lambda square one over lambda square. Uh, so if you look at this expression, you you will observe that you are taking a double derivative of f, and you are left with f with a one with a term one over lambda square. Lambda d square. This equation has a solution of form f is equal to c1 exponential r over lambda d. So you know you take a double you take double derivative of this term, and you are left with exponential as it is with a constant. So here the constant is one over lambda square. But we are yet to determine the value of c1. We don't know what it is. All right. So with this expression for phi with a constant c1, as we approach the test charge, the potential because of the test charge will be given by one over four pi epsilon naught r into e. This is the charge. This is standard expression for potential electrostatic potential because of a test charge, positive test charge. All right. So here, if this r approaches zero, this term go, becomes one. So we are left with c over r one is equal to phi. So and phi will be given by one over four pi epsilon naught r into e. So this r and this r cancels. We'll get c1 is equal to e over 4 pi epsilon naught r, all right? So using the expression for c, c1 here, we'll get phi is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. E over R. That this R comes from here. Exponential R over lambda d. Now, if you look at this expression, you will find out that this term, this much, one over four pi epsilon naught R into E, this is the charge. This is a uh, the this is a potential because of a uh, charged particle in free space. All right. Plus, we have an extra term that shows that if r is more than lambda d, this potential will decay exponentially. All right. So this behavior of the potential due to test charge particle that we have introduced in the presence of Other charged particles that are electrons will follow a trend where, if the distance that we are taking is more than lambda d, the potential will decay exponentially. All right, and that this term lambda d is what is called the bilength. All right. 
here lambda d is given by epsilon naught t over 2 e square n naught.